So Virasa, forward Virasa, get that opening into the hips, into the lower back, into the front of the shins. And at the same time, resting the upper body, resting the shoulders, the neck. And just completely resting the face. Just feeling gravity taking the buttocks down towards the heels. You may not get down too far. You might feel your knees a bit tight. You might feel the joints a wee bit tight on it, but just let them relax into it. Breathe into any of those wee tightness you have in the body. Breathe into any pain that you may have. Wee niggling pains in the back, or the knees, or the hips. Just let it all relax. Focus on the breath, focus on relaxing the mind, and deepen that breath right into the belly. Let the fingers naturally curl up, let the hands naturally relax. Shoulders relax, completely focusing, breathing in and out through the nose. Try and feel this a comfortable position for you. If you find that it's very uncomfortable, you adapt to what is comfortable for you. If you feel that you want to sit your body bones, if you want to sit cross leg, this doesn't sit, you don't stay in pain, you don't stay in an uncomfortable position. Just get your mind and body relaxed to prepare the body for the class. Trying to close off all those things that you have to do. Forgetting about all those jobs that have to be done today, just forget about it all. For one hour. Just feeling the abdomen relaxing onto the inner thighs, supporting the lower back. In the back of the neck long, in the forehead, supported onto the pillow, and in the muscles in the face completely relaxed. Just taking it as it is, just taking it as it's been given out. Just feeling the body, just whatever way you feel today. Just accepting it, feeling that acceptance. Just like everything else is going on in the world at the minute, just try and accept it as it is. Try not to stress out about it. Try not to analyze it. Just accept it as it is. From here, stretching the arms right out in front, lengthening the arms out as far forward as you can with engaging the arm, and then pressing the hands into the ground as you lift in the buttocks off the heels and coming right up under your table, taking the knees in, 
so that their hip width apart, taking the feet out so that their hip width apart, and then just coming forward and back. Nice and easy, nothing too much. We're just coming forward, taking the shoulders right over the top of the wrists. Just get that wee bit of movement into that lower back, into those hips, into the knees. Just really just getting them woke up, breathing in, breathing out. And then inhale, come back just under your table. Make sure the knees is underneath the hips. Make sure the hands and the wrists is underneath the shoulders. And we're just going to do a wee bit of cat and cow now. So we're only going to take the chin into the chest, the belly button up towards the chin and really arch the back. Dropping the crown of the head down towards the ground. Dropping the tailbone. Facing the ground. And then inhale back up really good. Crown the head up towards the ceiling. Tailbone lifting up towards the ceiling. And really feeling that stretch in the abdomen. Into the lower back. Pressing the hands and keeping the arms engaged. And then exhale back down with the chin, really tucking it right into the chest, really tucking the tailbone right in, down towards the backs of the knees and really pushing the hands and the knees into the ground to really work that spine, keeping that movement into the body. And then inhale right up again, crown the head right up, tailbone right up, breathe in, breathe out. Really stretching the belly, really lifting the buttock bones. Really good. And then exhale, coming back into your neutral position again, lengthening the spine, try and pull the belly button in towards the spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Now this time lift it up with the right arm, stretch the right arm right out to the right, and then thread it right in underneath the left, taking it right over, dropping that right shoulder right down onto the ground. Couple of the fingers of the left foot and really lift that left shoulder right up to turn the chest right over to the left. Really work at that lower back, lower spine, and abdomen. Breathing in, breathing out. And you should be getting a really good twist here. Really getting that nice stretch into the lower back, into those hips. For five, four, three, two, and one, press the left hand up to the ground. Back into your neutral position again. Just have a wee sway back and forward. Sometimes when you go on that deep twist, especially at the start of the class, you feel it nearly takes the breath from you. That's because you're really wringing out your lungs and diaphragm there. So just getting that breath back again. And then inhale, lifting up the left arm, left arm coming right up. Thread it right in underneath the right and take it right over. To the right, drop the left shoulder onto the ground. A couple of the fingers and really lift the chest right up. To so turn right round to the right. Breathing in, breathing out. Get that breath in and out of the body. Big, long, wide, full breath. Holding it for five, four, three, two and one coming right back up again pressing the hands in get them right in underneath the shoulders now we're going into cat and cow again only we're going to do repetitive cat and cow right away we're going to do 10 we're going to take the crown of head up the tailbone up in the inhale and then exhale coming right down really good now inhale up exhale down really making that tuck in really work inhale Exhale, really work on the health of the spine. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Really work on the movement of the spine. Exhale. Inhale. Take it right up. Exhale. Two more. Inhale. Exhale. Last time, inhale and exhale, really good. Now, taking the knees as wide as the mat again, take the toes together, drop the buttocks down onto the heels, feel that bit of a difference in the knee joints and the thighs, 
and the arms lengthen them right out, drop the forehead to the mat this time, lengthen the arms right out, try and keep the, in, the inner arms off the ground and try and really engage the legs, stretching into the side body. Really feeling that you're starting to really open up all these joints, getting them all warmed up, really lengthening the side ribs, lengthening the spine, breathing in, breathing out, really working and looking after the health of the back today. Breathing in, breathing out. And then this time, just lifting the head, but keeping the chest low to the ground. Cut the fingers and the hands. Walk the hands right over to the right. Keeping the buttock bones connected as near to the, the heels as possible. Lengthening the right and the left arm right out to the left or to the right. And really pressing the forehead to the mat. Stretching right into the left side of the body. Really feeling that sideways stretch. Big breaths in and out of the body. Feeling that you're stretching right into the right arm, right into the left arm, and feeling the side ribs really opening up. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Cup the fingers and the hands, walking the hands right over to the center again. And when you have the hands in the center, push the buttocks down towards the heels even deeper if you can. And then walk the hands right over to the left. Really stretching into the right side of the body now. Feeling the side ribs really opening up. Drop the forehead to the mat. Drop the chest down as low as you can. Really stretching the spine. Really stretching the quads, stretching the knees, stretching those hips. For five. Four, three, walk the fingers away, but a bit more to stretch it out. Two, and one. Coming back into center again, really good. Pressing the knees into the ground, coming right up. Back into your tabletop position, pressing them right down, really good. Keeping the tops of feet on to the mat. See if you can drop, now the, the knees are hip width apart this time, so drop at the Buttocks down onto the heels, walking the hands right back and coming right onto your sitting position. If this doesn't suit you, leave it out. Breathing in, breathing out, bring it right in. If you feel that you need to put a cushion in underneath the buttocks, you maybe open up the knee joints a wee bit, that's good. At this part of the class, when you're warming up, that's all right. Roll the shoulder blades down the back, fingertips onto the ground, lifting the chest, lifting the heart. Really stretch of the quad, stretch of the hips. Stretching the knees, breathing in, breathing out. Holding it here, just stretching that spine, lifting the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Breathing in, breathing out. Now inhale, take the arms forward, lengthen them right out. Lengthen the fingers and remember which of the little fingers is on the bottom. And then turning the palms and hands away from the body, locking out the arms, really stretching out. We're really working these shoulders now. Inhale, keeping the gaze towards the knuckles, follow those knuckles right up. Stretch it right up, take the palms of hands right up towards the ceiling, and then take the head forward so the head is coming beyond the arms, and lengthen the tailbone, pull the belly button in, and really stretch into your parvatasana. Big stretch into those arms, into those shoulders, and really work on the abdomen. Breathing in, breathing out, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one, drop the arms down, turn the palms of hands back around towards the face, and then drop the fingers down a level so the other little fingers on the bottom, turning the palms of hands towards the front of the room, really stretching those arms out right out of the shoulders, really keeping that chest lifted. Try not to round that back, try and keep the back long and strong. Inhale, taking the gaze right up with those arms, really stretching it right up. Then take the head way, way forward from the arms. Take the arms right back. Lengthen the arms right up. Pull the side ribs in. Really stretching it in. Really engaging the core. Really working that belly. Breathing in, breathing out. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it right down again. Really good. Turn the palms and hands right round. Drop the hands down onto the ground. Take a roll of those shoulders. Roll them all out. Breathing in, breathing out. Taking the hands in front of the knees. Coming right into your tabletop position. 
Take your pillow away if you had a pillow there. Lengthen away in the right leg, tuck the toe under, push the heel right back, open up the backs of those legs now. We're really down the fronts of them. So now we're really working into the backs. So pushing the heel right down toward the ground, really stretching into the Achilles, into the calf, into the metatarsals of the feet. And then exhale, dropping that knee down, inhale, lengthen away in that left leg, stretching it right back. Really feel it right under the feet, into the shins, into the backs of the ankles. Really feeling the quads. And then exhale, drop that knee down, other leg again, coming right back, right leg. And this time we're going to make big circles with the heels, really work on that ankle joint, building strength and mobility into the ankle joint. Keeping everything moving, keeping everything strong. Really good. Breathing in, breathing out. Big, big circles, one direction, then the other. And exhale, drop that knee down, other leg, coming right back, really pushing back into the heels. Make a big circles again. Really getting them joints really opened out, working in every direction possible. Taking it the other direction. Really good. And exhale, dropping the knees down again. Really good. This time, staying up on the knees, lift them right up. Lift them, roll the shoulder blades down the back. Try and get the knee, the hips, and the shoulders all in line. Lift them, both arms right up. Stretching them right up to the ceiling. Really stretching the spine. Try and lengthen the tailbone. Try and lift the pubis bone to really engage your core. So you don't want that belly coming away out. You're trying to pull it all in, tuck it all in. Lengthen the arms right up. Breathing in, breathe it out. Inhaling and exhaling, link of the fingers again. Come on right in and really stretch the arms right up the ceiling as if you're trying to touch the knuckles towards the ceiling. And then drop over to the right, really stretch right into the side ribs once more. Taking the gaze in underneath that left arm. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale back up in the center. Exhale, drop it down. Really work on the spine in every direction. Taking the gaze in underneath the arm. Breathing in, breathing out. And inhale back up in the center. Exhale, drop the hands down again. Really good. Press it right down. So this time we're going to take the legs forward. We're going to lie down onto your back. So we're going to warm up the core. We're going to get the core working. So we're really getting that strength into the abdomen. I'm going to turn around so that you can see. So lengthen the legs right back. Just lengthen the legs right down to the, down to the front of the mat, the bottom of the mat. And just let the legs relax. Just feel it. Taking the feet to the left and to the right, just resting out those legs. Did a lot of work on the quads, a lot of work on the knees. Just relax all those muscles out. Breathing in, breathing out. And then right away, bending up at the knees, lengthening the tailbone down so that you get that lower back really secure on the mat, as if you're pushing the lower back into the ground so that you're really engaging the core, you're pulling that belly button and you're starting to engage the belly right away. Palms the hands down onto the ground, lengthening the legs right out to the, the bottom of the mat, pointing the toes away, really good. And just hovering the legs off the mat, but making sure you're pushing the lower back into the mat. Breathe again, breathe it out. We're just going to hover for 10, 9, 8, pushing that lower back in, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, and one. Drop them down, rest it out. So just try to hover those legs, but really engage in the legs, engage in the core, just to start to fire up the belly. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Now, if you find that very difficult to do that, sometimes the wee folded blanket in underneath your sacrum or a block or whatever, just in underneath the sacrum gives you a Sick that sacrum a wee bit of a support. So if you had a folded blanket, you could or a folded towel, you could just fold it up, maybe fourfold, just put it in underneath your sacrum, just to really lengthen that tailbone. And it gives you that wee bit of a focus of what you're supposed to be doing with the lower back, pushing it into the sacrum. So it means that 
it's just uh, the top of it, the top of the towel is just on where your the trouser, your belt of your trousers would be, or your belt of your shorts. And the majority of the towel is on your lower or the upper part of your buttocks. So keep that there if you need it. Length of the legs right out in front. Really good. Now pressing the hands onto the ground again. Really good. We're doing the same thing. Pointing the toes away. Really engaging the legs. Really engaging the quads. And just lifting the legs just about an inch off the ground. Holding it here. Pushing the lower back in, really engaging your core, really firing up that belly. Holding it here for five, for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down. Rest the legs, rest the legs, shake them back and forward. So you probably felt a wee bit of a shake there. If you really work on that core, if you really work on that abdomen, you should have felt a wee bit of a shake there as you're really lifting those legs right up, really working on that lower part of the sacrum, lower part of the back and core area. So we want to really warm up the core because we're going to be doing a few back bends today. We're going to really work on the health of the lower back. A lot of times we neglect the lower back and the spine. So we're going to be working on the back. And as the abdominal muscles support the back and spine, we want to get those abdominals well fired up before we do any back work. So once again, lengthening those legs away, really engaging the quads, really engaging those legs, lifting the legs one inch off the mat, right up, one inch, just one inch. This time we're taking the arms right back and keeping them one inch off as well. Really good. Stretch it right in there, lengthening that tailbone, and really push the lower back into the ground. Holding it here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down, rest it out. Really starting to feel the abdominals working. Really starting to feel that core working strong. Breathe again, breathe it out. And inhale again. Lengthen that tailbone. So you want to press the feet under the ground. Do lengthen the tailbone. Try and feel that you're scooping that tailbone down and under so that you're really feeling that lower back right on the mat. So you cannot get your hands in underneath that back at all. It's really adhered to the ground. Really good. Lengthening the legs away again. Stretching it right out. Lift the legs one inch off the mat. Take the hands right back. But this time, head and shoulders right up. Really good. Lifting the head and shoulders right up. Really engaging the core. Pushing that belly up and down towards the ground. Holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, two, and one. Really good. Drop it down. Really good. If you're doing that right, you should really feel that in the belly. You should really feel it in the belly. So if you're not feeling that, you're not pushing the back in, you're probably arching the back slightly. So you have that wee bit of a gap in underneath the back. So you're really working that spine. You're really working the buttocks down towards the ground instead of that lower back down towards the ground. Really get that lower spine down towards the ground. So you want to make that connection with the lower spine so that the abdominals have to switch on to lift the body up. So if you feel bad and you didn't get it that time, we'll do it again so that you get it this time. Really good. Breathe in, breathe out. So hands down by your side, lift the legs up one inch, point the toes away, take the arms right back, take the head and shoulders right off, pushing that lower back into the ground. Really good. Breathing in, breathe it out. Holding it here for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Drop it down. Rest it out. Press the hands down by your side. Rest it out. Shake the legs. Shake it all out. Breathe it in, breathe it in.
Give the hips now a wee warm up as well, and we'll work our core as well. So bending up on the knees, pressing the lower back into the ground, taking the feet off the mat, taking the hands right up towards the ceiling to a vertical position, the arms up to a vertical position. Knees are right over the top of the hips to start off. Head and shoulders coming right off the mat, and this time the arms and the legs are coming right back again. One, right up. Two, really good. Three, really good. Four, five, lower back pushed into the ground. Six, really good. Seven, keep the head and shoulders right up. Eight, nine, ten, keep that engagement of the core. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And relax, lengthen the legs away. Rest the back, rest the arms. Breathe in, breathe out. Now inhale, coming back up again, really good. Bending the knees again is the last one here on our core. Taking the knees together, ankles together. Hands right up towards the ceiling, taking the hands right in to come into Namaste. So linking all the fingers, releasing the index finger, lengthening the arms right back to the back wall, really stretch the right in. This time we're coming to the left and to the right, really good. So coming right up to the left, one, right back. Two, right back. Three, stretch your abdomen in the way back. Four, five, six, right out. Seven, really take it beyond those knees. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, really make it count. Twelve, really good. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right up, 19, 20, and relax, rest it down, take the soles of the feet together, drop the knees wide, rest in Sukta Bada rest the groins, rest the hips, rest the abdomen, length of the tailbone. Big breaths in, big breaths out. And inhale, take up the knees in together. Drop the knees down to the right. Roll over onto your right. And then roll right onto your bellies. Right over. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Really good. So we've given that core a nice warm up so now we're going to give it a nice wee stretch to stretch out those abdominal muscles really get them nice and stretched out so taking the hands down by the side of your shoulders so that the fingertips are level with the top of the shoulders and then put away the right leg and the left leg we're just going to come up on the nice wee easy cobra nothing too much yet breathe and breathe out just start to wake up that lower back now try and relax your buttocks Lengthen it right up and take the gaze towards the skirting board in front of you. Really good. Taking it along the ground, along the skirting board, and lengthening the legs and lifting the chest. Nice and easy with it. Breathing in, breathing out. And then right away, take the hands right out in front, stretching them right out so you're lengthening the arms right up. And then pressing the hands on the ground, just lifting the chest again. Really good. Now just lift the chest, feeling the stretch of the abdomen. Breathing in, breathing out, lifting the crown of the head up. And then taking the hands back halfway, press the hands on the ground, coming up into your C pose. Come a wee bit deeper into your abdominal stretch, deeper into your lower back stretch. Relax your buttocks. Try and relax those buttocks. Try and keep them from engaging. They'll automatically engage. They're engaging because they're thinking 
They're trying to protect their lower back, but you're trying to get that nice back bend in. Breathing in, breathing out. And then exhale, dropping down nice and easy, taking the elbows wide, taking the head, elbows to cactus position, turn the neck and head to one side, relax the back, relax the abdomen. Breathing in, breathing out. And again, we're coming back into your cobra position, taking the hands round shoulder, level with your shoulders, lengthen away in the right leg and the left leg. Lift and roll the shoulder blades around the back, make sure the elbows are right in against the side ribs. Pressing the pubic bone into the ground, lifting the chest up, taking the gaze towards and along the ground, breathing in, breathing out. Really using that lower back to lift the upper body up. And then this time, see if you can take the hands off. Really good, stretching it right up. Keeping that gaze, really working that lower back strength. Still working your core, still working your core strength. This time it's the back. Breathe in, breathe out. And exhale, dropping it down again, turning the neck and head to one side. Coming right in. So really working on that back health is really important. Keeping the back strength, keeping the back movement, keep the body strong. Your spine is your scaffold for your body. If anything comes out of zinc with your scaffold, the whole lot collapses. So anything comes out of zinc with your spine, the whole lot collapses as well and you start to get a lot of pain, a lot of aches, keeping that spine healthy and strong, very important. And inhale, turning the head down towards the ground again. Just really lengthening the back of the neck, dropping the, the forehead onto the mat, lengthening the right leg and the left leg right back, really getting that extension in the legs, extend, extending them right out of the hip. Keeping the arms and the hands where they are, just resting on the mat. And then inhale, lifting the head off the mat, lifting the chest up, keeping the forearms on the mat, lifting it up to modify it. Cobra again. So really lifting that right up, really getting that chest lifted up, pressing the forearms into the ground, lifting and kicking the gaze forward. Now from here, keeping the arms on the mat, lifting the legs off, right off. Trying to lift the, the quads off the mat, pushing the pubic bone into the ground, lifting those legs right up, really working into the lower back, breathing in, breathing out, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Drop it down, turn the neck and head in the opposite direction. Rest the shoulders, rest the arms. Breathe in and breathe out. And in here, turning the forehead down onto the mat, tuck the chin under the chest, length of the back of the neck, breathing in, breathing out. Same again, lift the head and shoulders right off the mat, keeping that gaze towards the ground, lifting the legs right off again, and this time lifting the arms right off, lengthen the arms right out, right out in front, stretching it right out, holding it here, really lifting it right up, Really pushing the lower part of the abdomen into the ground, the pelvic bone into the ground for five, four, three, two, and one. Dropping it down, then put those arms right out in front. Drop the forehead to the mat, resting the lower back. Breathing in. Breathing in. So this time we're going to put a wee bit of effort under it. We're going to really take our towel again. Rolling up the towel so that it's just slightly wider than shoulder width apart, taking hold of the towel. 
We're going to work the upper body strength. We're going to work the mobility of the shoulders. And we're going to strengthen up the back really good. So maybe watch me. Lengthen the legs right back again. Really good. This time we're going to lift the arms up, lift the legs up. And we're going to take the, arm, the hands right to the back. Level with the shoulders. And way forward. Really good. One. Right out. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, right back, nine, and ten. Really good. Then put the arms right out. Turn the neck and head to one side. Relax. Really good. Even if you just get five in, just get the five in. Build that strength in the lower back. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhaling and exhaling. Do that same thing again. Really lengthening the legs, right out. We lengthen the arms way forward. Turning the forehead down towards the mat. Keeping the gaze along the ground up. You don't need to be looking away way forward. Lifting it, taking the gaze down along the ground. And see if you can take that towel or strap or whatever you're holding on to. See if you can take it right back to touch the chest. Breathing and breathing out, work on the mobility and strength of the shoulders as well as the lower back. Inhale and exhale, lifting the chest up, lift the legs up, arms up, and coming back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Really good, drop it down, turn the neck and head in the opposite direction, rest the arms, rest the legs, rest the lower back. Really feeling it in the glutes as well there because you're really lifting those legs up. Really working the glutes. And inhale this time, taking the hands out, outside the shoulders, slightly outside the mat if you need it. Pressing the hands into the ground, push the ground away, lift it right up, really stretching right under those straight arms, lifting, trying to head up towards the ceiling. Really work on that back. Really relaxing the buttocks, relaxing the legs. And really feeling that stretch in the abdomen and lower spine. Breathing in, breathing out. Inhale and exhale. And exhale, dropping it down. Turn the neck and head to the right. Take the hands down by your side. Roll the shoulders forward. Relax the spine. Now we're going to do preparation for our bow pose. So bend up on the right leg, taking the right leg right up. Bend it right out, really lengthening the knee right back to the back wall. And see if we can take hold of that right ankle and pull the, the heel in towards the buttock. Just turn, just keeping this head and chest down onto the ground for now. Pull it right in, really feeling the stretch into the quad. We've already done it in beer asthma, so this will be well listened out anyway. And then exhale, stretch that leg away. And then other leg, bending it up. Taking the hand right back, see if you can take hold of that ankle. Just relaxing the upper body, just pulling that heel in towards the buttock. Stretch into the quad, walking the knee right back to the back wall. So if you're really feeling the stretch into the hip and the quad, the thigh, pump the shin. And then exhale, dropping it down. Really good. Now this time, turn on the uh, forehead onto the mat, tuck the chin in towards the chest again. Bending up on both legs this time, walking both knees right back. Really good. Bending the legs right in, see if we can take hold of the ankles. If you can't take hold of the ankles, maybe put a wee strap or towel around the front of the shins. Getting that big, long, strong arms now. Really feeling that you're pulling the shoulder blades way back and down. And really opening up the chest. So you're feeling that big stretch in the front of the chest. Front of the, the front muscles of the chest. Lengthening the right leg and the left leg right back. And then when you're ready, lifting the head and shoulders right off the mat. Nice and easy. Really good. 
lifting those knees right up, lifting, crown the head right up, holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down, turn the neck and head to one side, lengthen the legs right down, relax the arms, relax the shoulders right down onto the mat. Keeping that mobility, really feeling that stretch in the abdomen, right under those hips, right under that back. Breathing and breathing. I'm going to do the same one again. Try and lengthen the legs right down to the back of the mat. Keeping the knees up with the part, keeping the feet up with the part. Bend up with the knees. Soles of the feet coming right up towards the ceiling. Really good. Taking hold of the right ankle, get a good grip on it. Left ankle, get a good grip on it. Lift and roll the shoulder blades in and down the back. Really feel that big stretch in the upper chest. Inhale, lifting the crown of the head up towards the ceiling. Lifting the thighs off the ground. Come right in, really stretching that core, really working that lower back. Holding it up for five, four, try and get a wee bit higher, three, two and one really good drop it down hands down onto the ground turn the neck and head rest it out big stretch there right under the body so good for the spine inhaling and exhale taking the hands up just right beside the shoulders again. Bending up at the knees, roll over the top of the knees, coming back into your table. Really good. This time, just take a big circles with the buttocks now, just really just giving that lower back a nice wee soothing out, giving the spine a nice wee soothing out, taking those big circles around. And then taking the circles the other direction. Really coming right over to the left to the right, to the back, to the front. Really good. And then taking your towel again, making sure that towel's nice and folded up again. We're going to kneel on it again. I'm just two goodies, keeping these all nice and comfy all the time. Keeping the knees onto the mat, make sure the knees are up with the part or onto the towel. Legs are coming straight out from the knees. We're coming right back. Coming into Ustrasa, our preparation for Ustrasa. Taking the heel of the hands onto the lower back. Pushing the belly forward. Really good. Just keeping a nice wee stretch of the abdomen. But try not just think about pushing the belly forward. Think about lifting the chest, lifting the side ribs. So that you're really lifting right up towards the ceiling first. And then taking the belly forward. And the abdomen forward and the pelvic bone forward. Breathing and breathing in. And then in here, come on right back into center again. Shoulder and knee in line, roll the shoulders, give them a wee roll out. And then inhale, taking the hand onto the lower back once more, really good. And this time we're going to lift up the right arm, just the right arm right up towards the ceiling, taking the gaze towards that right hand and really keeping the left hand supporting the lower back, breathing in, breathing out, turning the palm of the hand away from the body. See if you can take the palm of the hand right up and around, really opening up the shoulder and taking the hand right onto the heel if you can. Lift up of the left arm, stretch the left arm right up and back, follow the hand right round and lengthen it right back. Breathe in, breathe out. Stretching into that abdomen, really working that lower back. For five, four, three, two, and one. Lifting up of that arm first, Coming right back and right back up at the center. Rest it out. Take a wee salsa movement of work on that, work on those hips. Breathing out, breathing in. Wasn't that Bill Bailey boy very good in uh, Strictly? He was, uh, he was a great dancer. <laughs> good. Roll the shoulder weights down the back. Really good, other side. Take both hands onto the lower back, really press the heel of the hands onto the lower back. Really good. 
And this time the right arm's coming right up, stretch it right up, following that hand right around, turn the palm of the hand right around. No, it's not, sorry, really good. Other side, <laughs> left arm's coming right up, just a, a waver there, it's talking about strictly. Lift up that left arm, turn it right back, take it right down onto the heel, stretch it right down onto the heel, lifting up now in the right arm, take it right up around, follow the hand right around, really stretch it out, holding it here for five, four, push the belly forward, push the abdomen forward, three, two, and one, lifting the right arm right up first, really good, stretch it right up, hands on to the waist again, just give it a wee shake out, really resting that spine, breathing in, breathing out. Now you exhale, dropping the hands down onto the mat once more, really stretching it right down, just staying in the neutral position, taking the buttocks left and right again, just having a wee rest in the lower back, did a lot of work on that lower back, so now we're going to go right into downward facing dog, stretch of the spine, coming into our first room forward bend of the day. Pressing the hands onto the mat, lifting the knees off the mat, abdomen right back to the thighs, taking them right back, keeping a big deep bend into the knees, just holding it here. Really keep it, try and keep the shins level with the ground as best you can. Really work on the knees, really work on the Achilles, the calves, and really stretching into the lower back and spine. Forward bend, really stretching it out, really work on those Achilles, work on the calves. Hold it here for five, four, really locking out the arms, three, two, and one. Keeping the chest where it is, straighten up the legs. Chest stays where it is, straighten up the legs. Really straighten them right up as much as you can. Push the heels down towards the ground, keeping the chest where it is, keeping the gaze towards the ankles, really working into the backs of the legs. Breathing in, breathe it out. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Now taking the head and shoulders forward, come right into your plank position. Holding it here for five, four, work your core, three, two, one. Lift the buttocks right up to the ceiling. Drop the heels right down to the ground. Right into your downward facing dog for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Bending the knees, drop the knees down onto the mat again. Drop the buttocks down onto the heels again. Drop the elbows to the ground and rest that lower back. After all that hard work, dropping the elbows down. Now taking the hands right back towards the feet. Just resting the hands onto the soles of the feet, resting the crown or the forehead onto the mat and just relax the body in there. Just feel that the body is heavy and relaxed. You're not keeping any tension, not keeping any stress in the body at all. You're just let it all breathe out. Really just breathing in there, relaxing in there, softening it all out. And inhale, taking the hands just beside the face, press the hands into the ground. Coming right back up again, really good. Pressing the hands into the ground, curl the toes under, right up into your downward facing dog again. Pressing the hands and the feet into the ground, really stretching it all out. Inhaling and exhaling. And then dropping down onto the knees, this time taking the right foot in between the hands and walking the right foot away forward. Keeping the, the left knee right in underneath the hip. Taking the hands onto the thigh. Stretching forward with that front leg. Taking it way, way in front so that the pelvis and the knee is coming forward. Just stretch right into the hip flexors, right into the lower back. Lifting the chest right up. Press the hand onto the thigh. Lift it right up. Taking the arms right up. Hands into Kali Mudra again. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Stretch right into that swast muscle. Breathe in, breathe out. Holding it here for five. Four, three, two, 
and one. Dropping the hands down each side of the foot, taking that foot right back, taking the other foot forward, taking it way down so the ankle is way in front of the knee. Coming right up, test the hand onto the thigh. Lift the chest, lift the heart, take the knee forward, take the pelvis down, really stretching into that groin, into the inner thigh, into that hip flexor. Lifting the chest, lifting the heart. Inhale, lift the arms. Kalimudra, right up, stretch it on. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one, dropping the hands down again, really good. Taking that knee right back, the foot right back. Pressing into your down, or into your tabletop. Taking a wee roll back and forward again. Breathing and breathing out. Curl the toes under, lift the knees off the mat, right in deep, downward. Facing dog again. This time lift up with the right leg, stretch the right leg right up, bend the knee, take the foot in between the hand, coming right into your lunge position. Get deep into your lunge, drop of the pelvis right down, really pressing it right in, stretching it right out. Drop of the pelvis right down, lifting the chest right up, cup the fingers in the hand, stay lifted right up. Breathe in, breathe out. Inhale, exhale. And then exhale, press the hands on the ground, take that leg right up and back, stretch it right up. And then exhale, drop it down, other leg coming right in. Bend the knee, take the foot in between the hands, drop down in the pelvis again, lifting up of the chest again, breathing in, breathing out, inhaling and exhaling. And exhale, drop the hands down, coming right back up and back, breathe in, breathe out, and exhale, dropping it down. Bend the knees, coming into your sitting position, sitting down onto your block, your blanket, whatever. Sitting with the legs straight out in front. Sitting it right out. Get your breath, try and keep the sitting bones really grounded. Hands down by your side into your Dandasa position. Couple of fingers in the hands, try and push the fingertips into the ground, you lengthen and open up that spine that we did a lot of work on. Breathing in, breathing out. Then slight bend of the knees, lift up with the right arm, stretch the right arm right up. Take the right arm right in underneath that right leg. Take hold of the left ankle. Take the left ankle right out to the side. Take the right ankle right out to the other side, really binding those legs deeply. You may need to come off the sitting bones to get a deeper bind. Coming right in. I do, yeah. Right? Inhale, lift up the left arm. Stretch the left arm right up towards the ceiling. Fold forward. Take hold of the knee. Take a good grip of the knee. Pull that knee right over to the left side of the body. Pull the abdomen right over to the right. Lift up on the right arm, take it right up and behind and give yourself a nice big twist after all those back bends. Breathing in, breathing out. Really getting that rotation under the spine. Really turning that neck and head right over. Holding it here for five, four, three, two, and one. Really good. Inhale, lift both arms right up towards the ceiling. Dropping that left hand down onto the ground. Roll right over to the left side. Really opening up that side body, really working that spine. Breathing in, breathing out. And inhale back up at the center, hands down onto the mat, stretch the legs right out in front. Really good. Give them a wee shake out, shake out the thighs, shake out the knees, shake out the ankles. Bending up at the knees, lift up at the left arm. Take the left arm right in underneath that left leg. Take hold of the right ankle. Take the right ankle right out to the left. Take the left ankle right out to the right. Really bind those legs nice and deep. Really working on those hips. Breathing in, lift up in the right arm. Stretch it right up. Exhale, folding forward. Taking that elbow right around the knee. Pull the knee right over to the right. Take the belly right over to the left. Lift up in the left arm. Take it right up and down. And drop it onto the ground. Really get that rotation. But really making sure that you're Lengthening the crown of the head right up towards the ceiling first, and then rotating the spine second. Breathing in, breathing out. <coughs> Excuse me. Big breaths in and out of the body. Really get that rotation. Breathing in, breathing out. Big deep breaths in and out of the body. And exhale back in the center. 
Really good. Stretch it right up. Let them both arms right up to the ceiling. Big, big stretch in the spines if you're trying to touch the ceiling. And then dropping the right hand down onto the mat, way out wide. Taking the left arm right up and over. Stretch that spine. Breathe in, breathe out. And inhale back up at the center, coming right back up. Length of the legs right out in front. Taking the legs right down to the bottom of the mat. Get your wee pillow and relax it all out. Give it full energy after doing all those back bends today. He's about jumping out of your skin. He's about running a marathon. <laughs> Turn the upper arms, the lower arms, the palms of hands towards the ceiling. Relax the arms right down. And just take those legs nice and wide. Breathe in, breathe out. Just focus on relaxing your mind and body now completely. When you're ready, if you're coming up with the feet, bend up with the knees, pull the knees into the chest, circles with the knees, releasing that back and hips. So big circles one direction and the other. And 
drop the feet down onto the mat, drop the knees down to the right, roll over onto your right side. Pressing the hand, right, left hand under the mat, coming right up and he's sitting. Thank you very much, everybody. Have a wonderful day. Namaste. Namaste, William. Thank you very Namaste, much. Bye-bye, everybody. everybody. Thanks, William. Bye-bye. Bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Thank, thank, thank you, you, William. Thank you very much. Bye, thank you.